Hey guys, this is Nathan Kincaid from KincaidTech.com. I uh, here to give you a tutorial on how to install um, the new Exodus plugin in, on, an, on the new Kodi 17 Krypton. So let's uh, go to my screen here. You can see the uh, old Kodi, and this one's um, Kodi 15, I believe, so this one's really out of date. That's uh, one of my other computers here, so let's power it down. And we're going to go launch your browser. And we're going to go to uh, Kodi.tv, like so. And click over here, download Kodi. So there's the, the um, Kodi version 16 here, but um, at the moment, 17 is still uh, in development build. Um, the reason why I want 17 is because it is the first build that comes with a new skin called Estuary, which I think looks awesome. So we're going to go to Windows and uh, Installer. Let's do the most recent EXE build. I agree. Next. Next. Um, it says a previous installation was detected in the selected destination folder. Uh, do you really want to overwrite it? There. All the settings will be left intact. All okay, so the installation is complete, and I'm going to check run Cody and finish. Okay, it's full screen here. You can hit the uh, backslash key in that toggles between full screen and windowed mode. So, um, it, now I'm on the new Kodi 17. It still has the theme that I had before. Um, let's go in and change that. So when you install a fresh build of Kodi 17, it should default to the, uh, the new estuary theme. However, if you upgraded from a previous version, it's going to maintain whatever theme you had installed before. I went into settings, system and appearance. So I appear to be having uh, some sort of issue with this. Um, it looks like there's maybe some corrupt data. I'm not able to get into any of these categories. Oh, except for that one. That one worked. Appearance and video don't work. So this is a great opportunity to show what I would do to troubleshoot this kind of thing. Let's turn off exit Cody. And then I'm going to go um, to the user data folder. So what I do is go into my my user data folder, my user folder, and go to app data roaming Kodi user data and then so this must have some data in here that's getting corrupted somehow so what I'm going to do is actually go up to here and take user data I'm just going to say user data old I'm going to rename that so there is no user data folder to work with so it'll create a new one fresh okay so then let's uh, search for Kodi launch it so now this one, oh, look at that. Just like I said, if you're installing fresh, it's going to use the estuary theme for you. Or disable that. So without the uh, user data folder, there's no settings. There's obviously some add-ons there, some skins that were still in the folders, but um, all the settings have been wiped. So here's the estuary theme which I think looks uh, very nice and modern. So let's now go over to, we want uh, add-ons. In this add-on, we want uh, to see Exodus and some other other things. If you go to the add-on browser, you're going to um, then see you would install from repository, but you may not have that, that repository set up yet. So... Um, 
wants you to. Down at the bottom here was basic, and I changed it to advanced. Now in that folder that I'm in, I can see unknown sources. You're going to want to turn that on. Yes, we acknowledge the risks of this, but we're going to do it anyways. Okay, so um, install from a zip file. What we want to do is install a repository. Now, I don't have uh, the folder setups, but we're going to do it anyways. Okay, so um, install from a zip file. What we want to do is install a repository. Now, I don't have uh, the folder set up yet. So let's go back. And we are going over to this folder icon. And we're going to add a new source. And let's just select on that none box. And we're going to type HTTP colon slash slash fusion dot uh, TV add ons dot AG. Hit done. And below we're going to type fusion. Okay, so now we have a fusion. Uh, folder here, a source. So we can click on it just to check to make sure it works. Okay, it works. We have some folders in here. You should see start here and uh, XBMC repos and scripts. Now go back. Let's go back to where we were before on add-ons and add-on browser. It's all from zip. Now we have a new row in here called fusion. We'll click on that. And then click on XBMC repos, English. And I'm going to come down to Exodus, repository.exodus. So this is the uh, one that has, they're no longer in um, uh, Lambda. That's the developer is Lambda, but um, for this one, he created a separate repository just for it. So select that and it will install. Then uh, you will want to install from repository. Now before we clicked on that and we just it went right into the categories of plugins. But now that we have more than one repository, uh, it's letting you select. I like how the author is L. MD with uh, asterisks. That would be Lambda. Okay. So go over to video add ons. And here's Exodus. Okay. I think I've already installed this. Um, so you will have uh, an install option and then. Once it's installed, enable it. Now, for some reason, this area doesn't refresh um, immediately. I've gone around for a few minutes before, before I saw it show up on the add-on screen. So for now, Let's just go into Exodus. We can open it from here or go to configure. We want to do that. Let's go to configure first so we can go through the settings. So uh, in general, we have appearance and there's uh, Exodus is the default. Genesis is the basically uh, the classic version from their previous add-on. And there's Extuary, which uh, the difference between this is the icons are actually um, more optimized for the Estuary theme or skin. So I like to choose that one. The icons look a little bit more refined that way due to the changes in the way Estuary displays. There's Provider Timeouts, Indicators. Um, we will actually want to change this after we have. Um, track.tv authorized. Let's go ahead and go that first. That should be under accounts. Tracked. Authorization.
Okay, so it wants me to go there. What I'll do is make that smaller. And, um, do this type of thing here. So HTTPS track dot TV slash activate. And type in the code. And then I'm already signed in to my tracked account, but um, if you're not, it would ask you to do so. And I'm going to allow Exodus. There we go. And immediately it's updated over here. And you can see my uh, user set up there. Now, under general, you should see indicators. Now you can change to tracked. So what that will do is allow you, it will show watched status based on what is found in tracked which is really nice to be able to keep all of your watch status um, in sync across multiple computers, across multiple add-ons. And then the other thing to do in here would be to, uh, um, down here, is do real debrid. So the real debrid or premiumized, one of those is, uh, um, or all debrid. Any real debrid account is pretty much crucial to using this um, using this add-on. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of no stream available, um, a lot of buffering. So definitely worth it to sign up for a real debrid account. So same process. It wants you to go and activate it. realdebrid.com slash device for the code that is zero and allow very similar process to tract and instantly it's updated over here there we go so then Go ahead, okay, let's go ahead and open it. Big change log. So, um, with, so you can go into movies or TV shows just to search, browse, explore. Um, there's even channels, some latest uh, movies and episodes. Uh, or since I'm hooked up to my tracked account, you can go to my lists. And in here, there's my TV show lists or movie lists. And uh, here's my subscription list is what, what I've set up. I set this up when I was using the Salts add-on. And of course, since the, both these add-ons are tied to Tracked, you can use the same library with both add-ons and probably many other add-ons as well. So here's all my shows. Go ahead and open one up. Most recent episode of Big Bang Theory. Let's give it a shot. So just finish searching the sources and now you'll see real Debrid um, links down here, um, you know, pick one of these and it should start playing just a moment. Hey! Hi! How is the screening? Oh, Sheldon invoked Rosa Parks to make somebody who cut the line feel bad, but... And that's how to do it. That is the Exodus plugin on, um... Cody 17. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if this was helpful for you to uh, figure out how to do this, um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos to come. Thanks.